Alright. Alright, so go to the cauldron and go left. Wait, I am left of the cauldron. It's already an ashes of rummaging in there. The cauldron is already cold and the resin is hardened again. Where's he getting the wrenches in the front? Where's he getting wrenches in the front? Uh, let's see. Anything else for pebbles wise? There's a body of water uh, right there and you can't find rock. <laughs> what are you doing with your life, Fox Girl? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Just trying to look around. Go left. What? Well, I don't think there's any pebbles in this house, so. Never mind. Uh, I guess we can go back to the way we came, all the way the path up. I'm not sure. You know what? I never really tried using just one rock. I just only assumed that we need three rocks because the three eggs. But I saw a bright uh, ring between the trees. Hmm? Uh, rocks right there. Cat's challenges are getting curiouser and curiouser. What are you, Alice in Wonderland now? Rocks, rocks right there. Use eyes, Fox Girl. <laughs> That's true. There are rocks right there. Like I said, I never really used just the one rock. So it might just need one rock. But I was thinking, maybe we need three. Hmm. Alright, let me just try one rock. Let me try the one rock. If it changes, if, if it doesn't change and we still need two other rocks, then I got it. Then we'll have, no, I don't got it, but I understand. They'll have to go find uh, other things. We do have a valve, though. Uh-oh. Great. The valve fits perfectly. Now what? There is a winding mechanism in the harpoon, but it still is missing spring! Great. The spring fits perfectly. I fixed and wound the heart mechanism of the harpoon. Now what are we doing with it? Now I can shoot. Doing what? Captain will hardly allow me to take this harpoon. And I certainly won't be able to carry it out secretly. Are you guys still uh, uh, pokey fighting? <laughs> yes, I think they are. I believe they are. Well, let's use this harpoon weapon in action. Don't shoot the duck! Whoa, the harpoon flew somewhere far into the forest. I hope I haven't nailed somebody there. Maybe you should have launched it! Actually, I'm afraid I won't find any more projectiles. <laughs> we have an active harpoon, guys. Let's invade foreign land. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try you know, using um, the one rock. I do a pine cone. Maybe I can use uh, stone and pine cone. And a crystal. No, that's not even black. It's not even suitable for something or something. Oh, I have to change out each egg. One egg. Gosh dang. Trade it out. Trade it out. Crystals look, crystals look like eggs, but much more shiny. I'm sure she'll understand. I can dip the pine cone in the resin. Possibly. Maybe it's not just stones that define. Maybe I have to make three um, uh, dark looking uh, eggs. Get nailed. 360 no scope. <laughs> what? No. Let's not do that. 
You won't climb a tree, but you fired a harpoon. What logic is this? <laughs> that clue's heavily poisoned. <laughs> so you need to find another thing. I feel like I have to darken the pine cone and then find a third object and darken it. Better not peek in there. What kind of monster? I don't know how far it can be. What else do I have that's dark and round? Or possible dark? That harpoon might let you reach something now in the forest. It's true. I got one egg. What am I going to do with this egg? Wait, can I look in here? There's like three sisters of the folktale. Can I do this? Can I resin this thing? I need to heat up the uh, resin first before dipping something into it. But you didn't do it before! Alright, let's just do this. Wait, no. Crystal? Knife? I don't think I'll be able to make the fire like this. Right, I need something to dry first. How about this? I won't make a fire with this brochure. What, what even? No, you don't! You don't need it! <laughs> Can't make a fire with this. The fox will barely warm. Oh, you're picky, picky, picky. Dry leaves. There, now I can make a fire. There, okay, finally. Picky, picky. Let's try. Snap. Dip it. There we go. Now it's pretty much like a siren's egg. Just what I needed. That's two eggs. Uh. Uh. Ooh, did you solve that cannonball puzzle? No, I didn't. I didn't. In fact, I just forgot about that. What will I need? What do I, what do I need for that? I'm trying to find the harpoon, though. Wait, 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 wait. Aha! Might come in handy. Ah, oh, crap. I won't commit on this. I won't comment on this. We can reach it. How about a stick? Can you poke it out? So we got a stick now. We got a stick, guys. Uh, maybe it'll give you a cannonball and you can use an egg. That's true. That, that is definitely true. Why don't you pull it downwards? Got it. I think it might uh, reach to the reeds. Yup. Let's see what's inside the bottle. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it's a part of the map. Hmm. A tree. I know that tree. It's definitely the place of the picture on the map. Shovel! Very well. Ooh! Gunpowder pouch. Just what, just what you needed! What else is in here? Best swimmer award. Candy and chocolate bar wrappers. A black marble. That might come in handy. Nuka Cola bottle caps. Hmm, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Colored glass. <laughs> I'm uh, I wasn't the only one collecting glass as a child. Jolly Roger badges and an eye patch. Well, it seems like there's nothing more of interest in here. Only children's knickknacks. What were children doing with a gunpowder pouch? Yeah, but still, how can you use a stick but not a shovel? I know! Gosh dang it. By the way, I haven't been reading these book marks. Dang. We have actually quite a few things I haven't read. 
She went out oh, for shrooms. Now she has gunpowder bag and fire harpoon. Again, what logic is this? <laughs> Working hard. I need to fly the correct flag on the mast, and the captain said it would work. It, uh, it will probably take some time, and that hatch in the abandoned hut still bugs me. Um, this is all back, back in time. I should go and find out what opened it. Uh, what if I, uh, I'm wasting my time on the ferry repair? But in fact, the solution is under my nose. Yes. Using Captain's crowbar, I finally got out of the basement of the abandoned hut. Alas, the right foxtail I needed wasn't there. Only the big and uh, old foxtail. Almost as tall as I am. But that's not the point. There's a real laboratory in the basement. Looks like someone has been purposely growing foxtails in there. I should take a good look around. Corsac's laugh. Unbelievable! I found Corsac's diary in the basement! It turns out that a long time ago he has organized a laboratory here and, and was researching... Sorry for reading too fast. <laughs> Thought it'd be funny. Researching uh, foxtails to cure my grandma. I thought he was just a herbalist, but it turns out he was a real scientist. Now I see why he hasn't has sent me here. He knew that there were definitely foxtails growing around here because he had planted them himself. But what he didn't think it, of is that the moles would take them just before my arrival. Tired of them scoundrels. <laughs> uh, well, now I know for sure where to look for a foxtail. So the most important thing now is to speed up the repair of the ferry. Oops, no, go back. Blocked. Talk about bad luck. Just when I was done with the basement and thought everything was going to go up and up, one thing happened I hadn't expected at all. A huge fail tree fell on the front of the for uh, forester's hut. And I feared that the most unpleasant thing had happened. And the tree has broken the bridge to the other side of the river. Seems like I'll have to find another way to the lakeside and make my way through the thorns and grow everywhere here. That They grow everywhere here. She went out for him to do. <laughs> Shippery, woody, explode, and boom it. Boomini. Boom, boomini. This is allergy for growing weed. Hmm? Allegory for growing weeds? I figured it out, guys. Win! <laughs> Throughout, uh, through the thorns to the stars. I found another way out of the basement. Looking through Corsac's records, I came across references of the cor uh, corrosive liquid he had made out of the uh, uh, Piptopolis. Piptopolis! Of course, there was no recipe. If you are not afraid, then after just a couple of unsuccessful experiments, well, maybe a bit more, voila! I've made the same liquid myself. I could have uh, been an alchemist. Using this liquid in the uh, briars in the corners of the basement, I found an emergency exit. Now I need to hurry back to Captain to find out how the ferry's repair is going. Siren's Call. Upon my return back to the ferry, I met Captain in the great mood. Who would have doubted that the, uh, he'd give me another task? Oh, joy. He complained that a duck called Siren had got the habit of making her nest in some main yard. I wish I knew what that was. And to think, he had even named it. Now, uh, given it a name. So, to put up the sails on the ferry, I need to remove her eggs from there. I have no idea why he didn't do it himself, since they're such good friends. True. I tried giving a, uh, a di uh, tried keeping a diary when I was little, but I don't know what to write. And then I got bored of diaries. <laughs> Maybe I should put this out. <laughs> um... I, when I was growing up, my mom uh, had a diary for each of us, journals, diaries, and wanted us to write in it every once in a while. I felt like it was an obligation because she told me that I should write in it every once in a while. The thing is, she had in mind that she wanted us to keep our own young minds of history. I was wondering, should it be important all the time? What should I do with it? I don't know. I don't even I don't care for writing much. So I didn't know what to write in it. In fact, I don't even have it anymore. So memory's sake is gone. Um, but in a way I would have, if I remembered, if I thought the way I did now, I probably would have kept a diary. It would have been nice. I just didn't think that at the time. So I kind of regret now. I regret not having a, a diary or journal. Journals are ma ma masculine and diaries are for, uh, feminine as, as the names are probably meant. 
or if they have a different terminology for what journal and diary have differently, I'm not sure. But either way, they're both kept uh, meaning to keep uh, stories of the past. That cauldron can make many years worth of soup for a family of eight. Dang. Going on science on that. Alright, let's get this uh, cannonball thing going. And also, let's save, just so I can uh, make fails and successes. By the way, a long time ago, a long time ago, when I played this at first, when I first load, loaded up the game, it did men it mentioned, but I think they changed that uh, kind of factor. They mentioned that if you were to fail one way, like that, if you try one way and it fails completely and you can't try that anymore, there was always another way around. So, it, oh, that's pretty dang interesting. But so far, I haven't run into that at all. So, either I've been successful in every possible way, or they changed that when they updated the game. Okay, so you don't do that. Oh, great. We have to rotate cannons in some kind of orderly fashion. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got black marble and gunpowder, and then cannon with five... No. A cannon with five boats. Both five cannons. But I have to rotate them. They shoot each other. They're all after one another. This is the only one that stands alone. Holy crap! You know how many combos that is? There's only 32,768. Dang, did you already do that math? Or is that just a wild guess? Holy crap, what am I supposed to do with this? Eight to the power of five. Oh! Maybe rotate them as the directions of the map. Don't think that's going to help there. Aim all at one in the middle, and the middle aim at the mass. Uh, oh dear. Maybe I should fire the dishes. Maybe that'll clean them up. Also, she got rid of the stick. Yeah, you use a stick and you just toss it away. Full on use of the stick. Marble counts. Apparently the marble counts as a full on egg. That's a big marble. Got him. Left, left, up, right. No. Left, left, up. That's better. Hey, Siren, fly here quick. Your eggs are here. And no more making nests in the main yard. Otherwise, one day Captain won't be so kind. Uh, left, left up, right, right up, right, right. That's the, what? <laughs> Head-sized marble. <laughs> Why did you need the eggs, by the way? <laughs> left, left, upright, upright, right. Well, if you say so, I'll, I'll give it a try if you had some kind of information. Upright. Crap, I have to do all the way around. Upright, right. Your think up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, start, select. <laughs> you shouldn't have cooked. Carp. I 
I just want to mention this. I, I'm not saying you can't be you, but probably around here, maybe you shouldn't have such dark humor. I would like to ask you of that. Can you please not have such dark humor in front of, in in my uh, in my um, in my streams, please? Read it with the commas. Well, that's that. Up right, not up left. Well, didn't work. Uh, maybe I'll just talk to Mr. Captain and see what he has to say. I'll attempt. Don't always think before I type. Thank you, Carp. That's nice. I'm not gonna say things like that. Not unless someone truly is being a full-on jerk. Oh, hey, I see you dealt with the shattering. Excellent. Well, I got the last... Uh, I got the last and the hardest task of you, Captain Fox. Once, a long time ago, I tied the ferry to the post or to the, on the shore. I used the hardest of my knots. I vented myself. Deal with it. And we're ready to go. But I have to warn you, they don't call me the king of knots for nothing. I can't, I can't you just untie it yourself? I'm in a real hurry here. My shelf? What good would that be if you, uh, uh, what, what good would that be? Ah, whatever. You know what would be good to me. Getting the other side of the lake as soon as I can. Well, hurry up, Dan. I'm just gonna cut it. Oh dear, why does everything have to be so complicated? What are you mumbling about? Aye, aye, Captain. That's your spirit. Do you want me to Google it? Uh, use the knife in the knot. That's what I was thinking. I'd leave scratches on the totem and probably blunt my knife. There's no need to do that. Because <laughs> he's annoying. <laughs> Cutting a rope is mean. Take a long time to make. <laughs> I don't think I was intended for tying, uh, tying a fairy. Burn the rope instead. <laughs> I don't know. I want to try to do these things. I, so far we've done so well without. Oh, there. The rope looks solid. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? The cannon puzzle. Oh, uh, maybe. Survival book? Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe we should do that. No, never mind. No, doesn't. D nope, nothing. Nope, not. Nope, no, never. By the way, it says book on survival. That's a lie. It's a pamphlet. It's a brochure. Very small. Not worth. Not worth it. Can't find it anywhere. But how do I reach it? I don't have my shovel no more because that thing broke or left behind. I don't have a stick no more. I don't have nothing's no more. Gunpowder? Should we blow it all to smithereens? We have Googled it once you don't remember. Yeah. I know we Googled it. And I and I'm glad we did that. But I want to do as much as I can without. Best game on Steam. Ten out of ten would recommend. <laughs> it's a good story. It's a good little try. It's a good little puzzle thing. But still. <laughs> Harpoon the rope. Do it. If only she didn't You know what? I don't know. She won't use the knife. Just use a sword. Get a sword. Get a freaking sword. Come on, let's get the sword. Can you grab the sword, please? Saber Kindling. Yeah, we did. We did use a sword. Uh, the We did look it up. I just want to do as much as I can without it. If things ever get stuck in a long pathing, then maybe. But still. Remember she broke the harpoon? 
She broke it, remember? Please. Ah! How do I reach the rope? Is it not here? Do I... Is it not... Is it, it's, it's tied. I have to go up. What about the cannon puzzle? I don't know. I really don't know about the cannon puzzle. It didn't give us any indication about it, either. So I can't untie it here. Maybe I have to go to the top deck. Got the stump down so you can reach the sword. But it will dole the knife! Don't you recall what she said? Explode the stump. I would have liked to, but I doubt she'd want to. I can always try and attempt, but... Now I can put up the sails. At least uh, I could do something without Captain's orders. I yoopty shoopty. And without flying some stupid flags. Yoop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. There it goes. Why aren't the sails. Uh, why, why aren't we sailing yet? Oh, yeah. The rope is still tied. The ship's. And then the ship starts going. And the totem starts uh, pulling out from this, out of the ground. I, I guess we don't have to. <laughs> Spray the rope with the stuff. I can't make more. She won't make more. Can't scratch that uh, already highly withered totem, man. <laughs> then sharpen the sword. She won't grab the sword! That just lets you send its nest into the water. Mom of the year. <laughs> I wonder if Captain is really into surfing. Well, let's see. What's this? Tropical. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I were taking the book out, I thought it was useful. Got it! Hey, when you get bored, just give me the sign and I'll Google it. <laughs> it's not getting bored. It's... Well, maybe it's bored. What's this? Dirty dishes. Probably that's the very special ship in the photo. Hmm. Fox on the job. I managed to trick the siren for her eggs, and now she has the new nest in a safe place. If she only knew how we cared about her and her ducklings. Well, the job was done, and no uh, nothing prevents us from putting up the sails and sailing to the other side. Captain will be pleased with me. I'd never have thought this would have bothered me. Oh, but something did. Something does. Rope. If those flags have anything to do with the uh, solution, I will be very mad. <laughs> I shall resurrect the dead and make uh, a park. Does the useless brochure mention knot tying? Let's let's just try. Let's. Maybe you can give me a little hint on how to untie it. Eh, you a red-headed cod without a single drop of sailor passion. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't give you a hint. Go ahead. Figure it out by your shell. Grandma's dying! <laughs> Goodbye. Very weird to ye. When you are out of panic, find luck. You can get back to place and seem last if you have no. Keep from forest. Space is considered water. Make fire. My water, so a plastic bag, try finding water, start fire, start with steel, make fire focus, you can use paper, keep safety in mind, what you got, right up for a fire particular, run for places, trees, woodland, keep far away, if you find a bear, punch it in the gonads. <laughs> Sorry. Groin. <laughs> and I know that's family friendly to say because they use groin in, in uh, family home videos. <laughs> no. I just want to slap that beaver. <laughs> Why haven't we teepeed the boat yet? I have no idea. There is not a single human being who would use a method other than a knife. Yeah. Green powder. Uh, what if the reaction happened and I got burned? No. Okay, got it. Put that in there. Spray it in there. I don't know. Gunpowder? Gunpowder. 
You guys think she's stupid? You guys think she's stupid? You think she's stupid? Looks like this gunpowder is not enough to make the flame that uh, could reach the rope. How do I strengthen it? I'll try to strengthen the gunpowder with this hot powder. I hope it won't flare up. Does the bear thing have a uh, thought to deal with the cannon code? What? Are you kidding me? You know, I'm about to say, forget that totem up. For freak that totem up. All respect for this game gone. <laughs> I realize this is not the safest solution, but I'm under pressure. You go, girl! <laughs> Don't harm the knife, but burn the dang thing to the ground. So much for the king of knots. <laughs> Done in no time. Even better, don't blow it up. Blow it up! Wait, wait, what about- What about me? Can't stop the fairy! The wind is too strong and she's gonna have to put the sails down soon! My fault. I think... I didn't get this part through- Thought this part through. I put up the sails. You can use the boat! Thanks! I could have used it earlier if I hadn't been uh, for your stupid rules. On the other hand, it's nothing. How do I roll into the other side without oars? Cabin Fox! Catch the oar! You won't sail without far without it! He almost hit me and killed me in the end! Well, at least thanks for that! Thanks! Fair winds to you, thanks! Okay, I feel like this is the part where you had two options. One, sail with him, but the problem is, I put up the sails, so once I let the rope go, he went sailing. So, it was my fault. My fault entirely. So we had the second part. One with harpooning, uh, harp, uh, harpooned paddles. <laughs> Good job, game designers. <laughs> oh god. The eyes are burning. <laughs> and the totem's gone. I don't think it was intended for take, uh, tying a fairy. How did that happen? How? How? If it was able to launch itself into the eyes of that thing, the ore would have shaved and it would become just a stick. Why didn't you use the boats earlier? She said the same thing. If it wasn't for his stupid rules, she could have done this already. <laughs> Forget you, Fox. <laughs> Thanks for uniting me. Uh, I'm tying my forever tied boat. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. I'm just angry. <laughs> we did it, guys. We didn't scratch the totem. It will never be scratched again. <laughs> Okay, Cub, I know you had some uh, logic issues for this game, but you gotta admit, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Like, gotta untie it, all to you. You know what? Forget your knot, forget your totem, get out of here! Boom! I don't want to scratch the totem up, says the girl who's blowing it up. TP the gosh darn beaver's boat to hang it! <laughs> that was so funny, but I hate this game so much now. <laughs> the totem isn't scratched, just blown up. Okay, okay. Now, let's get this going. We didn't even do the cannon puzzle, by the way. Not the cannon puzzle, so it must have been fine. Hey, come on, Toad. Let's go with us. Go with us. We can do this. Oh, Grams. Got a bit more. I'll be, I'll get, I'll be getting to the uh, foxtail soon. And then a kraken pops out and pops me, uh, Nessie pops out and pulls her into the bottom of the sea, huh? Oh, chapter three! Chapter three is not out yet, just so you know.
I was complaining about the geography earlier. Oh, look, I hate that paper. <laughs> I love the game, though. So did I. Little did I know. So little. <laughs> My brain blew up. So what now? Well, two out of the three hours of the stream, and we were able to finish chapter two. And thanks to you guys. In fact, thanks to that one girl that stopped by. Sure, it would have been trial and error with the flags, but with her help, uh, with the Navy knowledge, we were able to put the flag up uh, on, on pretty much the first try. Or two and a, uh, one and a half, because we kind of went up and down, up and down, trying to get the certain flag, but still. But that was awesome. I love this. And I thank you guys for joining me with it. It was so much nice. It was so fun with the interactions. It's so much better. Instead of me just recording and then putting it up and then having you guys, pop, people possibly coming by and watching it later, with having your guys' live reaction, that was awesome. I love your reactions. <laughs> no! Is this the end of the adventure for now? Yes, it is. Until the next chapter comes out. TP the Beaver's boat. <laughs> TP the Beaver's boat. Wait, what was the point of the cannons? No idea. Ah! <laughs> to shoot us. To shoot and not at, uh, not at us. It was a red herring. Annoy. <laughs> that was beautiful. I'm so glad. That was awesome. And the menu music is beautiful, mind you. So this is, is it done? Yep. This is the, uh, for now, until the next chapter comes out. And I loved it so much. I loved it so much.